sit there. That's for the host. Oh my god, that's right. That's for the host. Move. That's like Johnny Carson sits there. Move or your name's not on the tunes. Where are you gonna sit? <laughs> Where are you going to sit, my friend? If I can't ask Dan, he's going to be off camera. Really? You're going to be off yes, camera? Uh, he'll, he'll freak, but no. give it a try. Just if he's he, going to sit there. That's where he wanted to sit. You're going to sit there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You're going to sit. Oh, you're such a closer. I should tell you. Come on in. Come on in. You're in this, man. Come on in here and rip it up. <laughs> Rip it up. <laughs> Rip it up, the crack of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> here, oh, homie. cool. They spell it with a C. <laughs> Fantastic. You're not related to uh, no. Jonathan and, no, no. and what's his brother, Muggsy? Get that, Robbie. Oh, try. Do it again. Switch so again. And, so, and do the sound thing. Switch. And switch. <laughs> what is this for? What are we doing? <laughs> it's kind of those tables kind of fuck things up tonight. It's kind of big crowd. I know. Melts yeah, it out. Made everybody sit there. Yeah. The difference between tonight and tomorrow night will be like night and day. Tomorrow's club. What's the name of the club? 80? 860. It's the big. It's a big, huge, sweaty mosh pit. Yeah, it's crazy. It's oh, a both ages good. club where you know, like. Hey, Stan. Inside you can be. A kid, and outside you got to go outside to train. Oh, wow. uh, tax yeah, about two grand. It's a good stage. Once we get into the actual thing, should we start? All right. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hello. Hey, brother. Good to meet you. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Stanley, it's a pleasure. Oh, the highlight of my adult life at this point. New, um, they slide over. You see, and Alex play I actually play guitar, yeah. When I, he's the new second guitar When I saw you guys pull that guy up on stage, I was pissed because I wish I would have been down there. Well, fucking next time get in the mosh pit. Next the time I'm man. there, I'm, I'm there, I'm going to be screaming for it. All right, next time then you get the guitar. Okay, then come on. Okay, we ready, Robbie? We rolling? Let's get this over with. In the middle of the night. Let's get this over Let's get this over yeah, can we get the hell out of here? What do you want? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> okay, um, What do you want? Yours. You got us here. Okay, the show tonight, is this part of like a full-fledged um, uh, headlining tour of small clubs, or are you guys going to hook up with a larger tour later? Uh, both. Right now, this is um, the second leg of our headlining club tour, and we're talking to a couple bands about going out with them. Okay, where have you been? You've been all over the U.S. with this, then? We've been around. We, uh... So let me see. Um, starting back in July, we uh, started touring the country, and we s ended up like the middle of December. We took a couple weeks off, and then uh, we're starting to do the West Coast now in January, and then it'll take us um, into into February, and then we're going to hook up on a support slot. Or there's also um, possibly we may be going to Europe too. So great Europe. And we could be making it all up too. You guys are like pretty far out on stage. It was great live show. It's the most refreshing show I've seen. In a while, without a doubt. Um, well, how 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 are the crowds reacting to this? A buck. Uh, they're they're taking it. They're, I mean, we we've there are some cities where we get on stage and we're like, who? Or we thought that you know Led Zeppelin was getting back together because the rooms were so filled. You know. <laughs> so there hasn't been any really negative like reaction when. Sure, there's been that. <laughs> I mean, we're not for everybody. It takes a sort of weird, special, warped kind of person to like us, you know? Right. Yeah, Stanley, I noticed you broke a few things out there. Is that like, um, something that happens all the time or is it like a one-time thing? Uh, I have to pay for my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> you better say it a little louder. You, you, yeah. you make an omelet, okay. Yes. <laughs> I'll start the phrase, you end it. You make an omelet, you gotta... Uh, Break some speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's tasty. <laughs> you got to break a few eggs. No, I loved it, but guy, this was pretty funny. I guess we'll probably roll a little clip of that. But Stanley, Stanley broke a couple of light bulbs, and wow. yeah, we're known for. We're no, we don't really like to play that angle up because our insurance. How much are they going to cost you? We don't forty a piece. Actually, we brought you a little present, Stanley. You got the light bulb I brought in, just, just we'll in case. We'll just take that one. Come on, boys. Bring it. Bring it back. Okay. We um, don't talk about that too much, though, because our insurance rates keep going up. 
Also, uh, when you guys did Tank, it was your second video out um, tonight live? You pulled the guy out of uh, up out of the stage to play guitar. Just some dude who's in the front row. You guys do that all the time, or? Oh, he's a guy that we pay and bring on the road with us. The same guy every single time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm it's like our audience plant. No, I just get lazy and I don't want to do this solo. Here, you play it. Oh, I was bummed because I was. I just. I wanted to do that. I was. I was diving to get down there. Time and well, if you would get in the mosh pit, Tomorrow. you know, Tomorrow. like like a good mosher for crying out loud, you maybe you two could win the honor of playing the guitar. Mosh pit at a dinner theater. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, Ralph Nelson Riley closed the show. He did Death of a Salesman. It was great. Heavy duty. Before you guys were signed, you had a huge following in L.A. Um, how, how did the L.A. crowds um, compare to the other parts of the country? Um, uh, L.A. crowds are great, actually. I think, I think my, my own personal dissatisfaction with the way things are in L.A., um, I think probably a lot of people feel that, and I think that's why there's so many people that do like us in Los Angeles, because they understand, <laughs> they understand the, all right, just stop, come on, why don't you get on camera, play guitar, too. Um, and, and I think they're, they, they understand where we're coming from, so it, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, never mind, just get these guys. <laughs> okay, you guys put out, like, three videos, like, boom, boom, boom. What, um, what, what do you like enjoy the whole video scene, or I mean, enjoy making the videos? Um, it was interesting. Um, our last, you have schools for fools. You have the video. Yeah, that's where we're playing it. Okay, so, great. Um, that's the one that we did um, not too long ago. But the interesting story behind that is that we did that one in Richmond, Virginia, and a um, college student who recently graduated um, did the video. And um, when we went to Richmond, he had all these plans, and, you know, we were just like, whoa. And when we got the video back, it was really amazing because it did such a great job. And the difference between someone like that and then a director who um, who is really established is that, you know, it someone like that. a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mainly. Um, is that, you know, someone like that's open to new ideas, and there's no biases and no prejudices. So it's like uh, it was really great to work with them and we turned out with a great video. We also, we wanted to, we all, do you get this? Or no, you can't. Can't. <laughs> We also, we didn't, doing a cheap video, we didn't want to have anything to hide behind, you know, we just wanted to show the band without any kind of ornaments, you know, just what the band is, rock and roll. And, um, and the way like when Van Halen, when everybody loved Van Halen and they did the jump video for no money whatsoever, that's the philosophy that we were using. And the band is good, and if the band is good, it will shine. So Schools for Fools is a cheap video? Yeah. Seriously. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why get caught up in the whole, you know, throwing money out the window, you know what I mean? It's just, it's about, it's about the music and the band, and it's not about how much money gets spent, you know? It looks great. Yeah, it's, it's very, and it, it's cool. and it just shows the band, you know. Why um yes. why was uh, fucking shit ass the first video a video that probably you know wouldn't get played anywhere, other than on cable shows like mine. You'd have to ask John Brumbach. No, guys. <laughs> um, that <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit ass was. Can we swear in this? Yeah, we can swear. Sure, you did. Um, you fucking crazy <laughs> bastard. <laughs> that video was put together in Tulsa, Oklahoma, <laughs> when we um recorded the album, um, a fellow from the record company came down with his video camera, probably something like what you're holding right there, and took a bunch of footage of us, and uh, he came back with the vid video edited, and it looked really good, so they sent it out, and we got enormous response from it, so Ooh. it was really, <laughs> it was really cool. So, write to Warner Brothers and make them uh, release it. There you go. Well, they did, you mean as a single? The they did. For sale. Oh, great, on a home video. video. Great, that would be a great idea.